Where are you pointing at? Yeah, I like this little life. <laughs> yeah. This silly little life. These, these flowers are a bunch of individual flowers. See? See? Oh, that's cute. Yeah? This little thing is a bouquet on its own. It is a little bouquet. You want to go live? Oh. Just friends. Oh. In this sphere, casual friends. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Really? Damn, got the neighbor watching and everything. Booster rockets have split off, and those used to just fall in the ocean and be disposable. Now where do they go? This company figured out how to land them back upright so they can reuse them over and over. Did you see it? Yeah, it's the neck. We're going to cut it out if you want. What is it? I don't know. It's the neck? <laughs> it's his little neck. Wait, yeah, because it's usually like giblets or whatever, right? This is yeah, normally I feel like that's like inside or something. Well, yeah. I don't know. Well, That's how we're doing it. Well, like, Eat it to me. It smells so good. Oh, you need tongs, huh? Over there. Wait, um, metal tongs are on the left, the far left of the. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Caitlin, this looks beautiful. You're beautiful. Uh, okay, but you gotta want to help me. Oh, you use Cecil here. Smoked salmon pasta. Impulse buy, but look good. Celery, some yeah. salmon, and, and it's like a lot of people they refinance their pasta. My wife refinances their pasta. Yeah. But it's going to be, but it's going to be added. Right at the end there. Oh, I also got this. These are so good. Okay, so you got the crunchy fish, crunchy fish, and shrimp. And shrimp, yeah. Fries, sauces. I got scallops and shrimp. She was sitting on my chest just now, and she kind of looked at me with sleepy eyes, and then she just slowly started making love to my headphones, just like dunging it, and <laughs> like making out with the cord, and then looked at me, and then did a little bite, a little bite, you know, and then I stopped her. And then she came over here and started <laughs> making biscuits. I know. I think, like, who's gonna let me? Who's gonna let me chew on their headphones? Biscuits, biscuits. I can hear her purring. Look at the new braids. We're having mapo tofu for dinner. Put some green onion on top. Look at the new look at this. Nice. Oh yeah. You can make a little wrap out of it if you want to. Oh yeah. You good? 
to look what he's eating. Today I did a shoot with uh, meals. That's why my makeup is all hectic. But I, before I left to go do the shoot, I um, made some bone broth. Let's see. Did you know if you have an Instant Pot that the sides go up like this, like a rice cooker? Like it just clicks in place? And I know I'm blocking, but oh my god, it smells so good. So last night, Caitlin made a roast chicken for Jason and I. And then, I'm gonna switch the settings real quick because this is hella bright. One sec. I've been using the chicken stock. Um... For everything, like I drink a cup of it in the morning. Um, I'll cook rice with it. I've been making little, like not committed soups, like just throwing a bunch of vegetables into the broth. Um, and I, I mean not committed in that it's not planned. It's just whatever is in the fridge, you know? Yeah, I've been just sipping on it as you would sip on coffee in the morning, you know? And it's great, this one's not as rich because it's just one chicken and a lot of the juices were left behind so it doesn't look as deep as the other broths that I have but damn it does smell really good so we'll see put some saltiness in there we got a little bit of this is the best if you're Vietnamese, if you're not Vietnamese, you gotta try it, it's so good. Okay, already better. Let's add a little bit of vinegar, maybe this. I also have this sauce, which is my my cousin's favorite, and he's from Vietnam, so he knows. That's all that. And I do have a brand new bottle of Red Boat. But let me, let's just try it. Oh no, that's perfect. That's, okay, that's perfect. Let's bottle it and put it away. Damn, this is... So good. If you see these at Nainan Ranch or any Asian market, please go and get it. These are amazing. They're, um, I guess they're like donuts, Asian donuts. Vietnamese people eat it with their pho broth in the north. But um, you can also just put it in your congee or crisp it up and just do anything with it really. It's delicious. Dossi is here. Do you, wanna, do you wanna try one? Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Do you know that person? Nope. Okay. I don't even know the song. Okay. <laughs> and okay, so this is a Vietnamese donut. Um, why well, I call it a donut, but it might not be. I forget what it's called in Vietnamese, to be honest. We so it's some... not a traditional donut. No. So it's well. It, it, it kind of, so you like that. Wow! Yeah, and it's not sweetened, and what you do is you you kind of eat it with <laughs> pho broth. You can, you can dip it into pho, or you can eat it with um, congee. What's congee? Oh, like a rice porridge. Mmm, mmm! I mean, I bet a little bit of powdered sugar on this would be really good too. It's like funnel cake. Oh! You know what I mean? It really is. I have funnel, I mean funnel cake. I have um, powdered sugar. Pretty <laughs> too, but. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's just eat this. Do this, you come back yeah. and try it the other way. Yes. Where do you get these? And? <laughs> Great, love it. No, we should, probably 99 Ranch, I saw it at 99. Yeah, this is the broth that she made. It's so delicious. Mm -hmm. Life got a package, I got a package. Let's see what it is. Ah! <gasps> no, 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 no. Nope, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, no, I 
good? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, this is really cute. Not with these pants, but maybe tucked into something. Cute. This is much lighter in weight. It's a little bit see-through-y, but I like it. It's nice. Because I never really buy color. Because I'm afraid that I won't wear it, you know? Yeah, I like this a lot. Some jeans. My blog. Are you kidding? Uh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Catch it's good. It's good. You do catch it. Oh. Nice. It was a lot. Dawson. Mm -hmm. Wait, Dawson, can you do the tap tap so I can hear it? Mm -hmm. Don't look at the bottom. Oh, you're getting it. Oh, you're getting it. Oh, you're getting it. It's really thin. Apparently. Thin. Not the, the right kind of thin spo. Yeah. Um, a few months ago, or maybe, I mean, a while ago, um, this guy, Tim, from Great White, which is a wine company, reached out to me about making some ceramics for his event. I don't really make much little items in that way, so I sent him to other ceramicists, and then he picked one, and it ended up working out perfect. And so, he just dropped off some wine, as a thank you, he doesn't know I don't drink anymore. Oh my gosh, these are pretty. Jasmine, California red wine. How pretty. Oh my god, these look so fancy. What's this one? Bloom. Oh wow, pretty. California white. Look at all that funk on the bottom. Cool. And then a little divider. Wow, this is so nice. Okay, I just got some photos back from uh, the shoot that I did with Meals Clothing. And they have something launching in the next couple months. I think it's going to be ready for summer. I'm so excited for it because I'm definitely going to get it when it comes. I, can't, I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about it. But I'm so excited for it. And it's a textural delight, I'm just going to say. I had no... I didn't care. I didn't have opinions on my clothing. Yeah. But then once, once I hit eighth grade, then I was kind of at the era where I'd, I'd, I'd bike down into town. Yeah. So, so I'd, I'd take... I'd, yeah, I'd basically take some cash and a bicycle and bike down to Sears or whatever <laughs> and pick my own stuff. Did you get an allowance when you were growing up? Um... So let's see, so early days, when I was a kid, no. Okay, what, and what then, defines a kid, like a, less than a teenager? Oh, okay, well when I was, you know, zero through nine, so the Holland years, no allowance. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I'm sure they gave me five bucks every once in a while to go, go get candy or something, you know? Oh yeah. And then ages, so, in California, then age nine through maybe 14 or something, mm -hmm. we'd get, if we cleaned our room on Sunday nights and it was clean by 8 p.m. on Sunday, okay. then we'd get like eight, eight bucks or 10 bucks. Oh, cool. For the week. So it was funny because we'd always wait till the last minute. So at, at 7.40, everyone's just scrambling and running around and... There's, there's no reason we had to wait, you know? Yeah. But it was really, it was a hard cough, like 8 p.m. Sunday. If, if you wanted 10 bucks, he's like, go get dad, show him your room. If it's clean, you get 10 bucks. But that was, that was the allowance, right? Yeah. But that was just your room, right? There's no, like, additional chores? Well, family chores? we would have to do that anyway. But that's not, for, but it, not for money. That's just to be alive. We have to do chores and dishes and vacuuming and stuff. But the bonus was if you want to cash out of it, then your room had to be clean. Yeah. And look, I mean, that doesn't mean you could just have a dirty room and, and get no cash. Like, if it was dirty enough, you'd have to clean it anyway. Yeah. But this was just sort of the difference between, you know, a B minus room and an A plus room. Yeah. And then, and then when I was, I don't, I don't remember when it was, but early high school, so maybe ninth grade or 
Probably ninth grade is my best guess. Mm -hmm. I saw this episode of Oprah, which I, I don't even know how I saw it because it was all during daytime, but somehow I saw it. Maybe it was a rerun or something. Yeah. But it was this idea, it was about teaching kids about money. Yeah. So basically what they said is figure out, as, you know, from a parent perspective, figure out what do you spend on your kid in a year? Like add up the cost of all their toothpaste and all their underwear and all their- Health insurance. Well, no, not health insurance, but you know, like the, the, the kind of stuff that you'd buy at Target, right? All their shampoo, all their, all their clothing, all their new undies, and, and, and make the kid come up with that list and, and price it out, go to the store and price it out. Yeah. And then rather than, as, as the parent spending that money, you just take that amount, you divide it by 12, and just give the kid the money and make them buy it themselves. Oh. So, so I did that. So I, I literally showed my mom and dad the episode, like, hey, what do you think about this? Because I, because my thought was like, well, if I just buy myself one less pair of underwear per month, then I get to keep the extra five bucks, you know, trying yeah. to be sneaky with it. Yeah. But then obviously when I came up with the amount, I was, uh, I was too scared to overestimate, right? So yeah. I did the math and it was like 120 bucks. So they agreed. So every month they give me 120 bucks. 120. I but then I'd be responsible for everything. All my clothes, all my shampoo, all my soap, all my, my shaving blades and haircuts and all that. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So which was cool because I, I like being able to do it myself and I, I, I wasn't I wasn't super into fashion or clothing so I didn't really spend that much money anyway. Fashion. But yeah. then a year later when or maybe six months later or whenever when you know when it was working out yeah um they, they did it for lisa then lisa added up all her stuff <laughs> it was, she got more money she got so she was two years two and a half years younger than me and she got way more money yeah because she's like oh okay i need tampons and makeup and chapstick wait and is eyeshadow it, and... is makeup considered a necessity though well i mean no but um you know if you're a at that point, a seventh grade girl going to middle school. Yeah. Uh, I would say that a bare minimum level of makeup is probably what yeah. you feel like is a necessity, you know? Yeah. It was nothing extravagant, but. Yeah. So she probably got 200 bucks a month. Fun. You know, which sounds like big money, but her parents no longer had to buy us anything. Well. No, no, well, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, the, that didn't include groceries, it didn't include actual doctor's visits. Yeah. You know, just day-to-day -day stuff from Target. Yeah. It's cool. Remember, we live far away from the store, so they, they, you know. So anytime we went to the store, it was on us to then, you know, grab our own stuff out of the aisle and, and buy it and yeah. use our own money, and it was cool. I bet there was a learning curve for, well, did Justin do it too? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, we didn't all do it at once. So I started first, and then a year later, Lisa, but she's two and a half years younger. Right. And yeah. then Justin maybe a year after that or something yeah yeah i wonder if we were to do it now like how much it would be i guess before the pandemic i was eating out a lot because that's how i held my meetings so i really didn't yeah eat that much at home i did but i mean like not right. nearly as much so you end up spending more that way yeah i spent more on going out food but less on groceries Fried rice with a really lacy egg. And then there's some white pepper. If you want it. There's some cilantro under there. The fried rice is leftover rice from last night. Onions, frozen veggies. Um, oh, and bacon to start. And then there's Laogan Ma, the queen herself. And Maggi seasoning. Oh, and this is my favorite kimchi. Mac kimchi. What do you speak? Oh yeah, his eyes are open. You're faking it. Sammy's faking it too, her eyes are open. <laughs> Veal and lime juice salad. Nice. Jellyfish salad with seafood. Nice. Uh, 
Where are my parents? They're coming in. Hey, grilled. Oh, grilled with cheese, not grilled cheese. Small scallops grilled with cheese. <laughs> oh, you know what I've seen people do? They have a lazy season and then they pop their phone and then they spin it and it takes and then everyone says hi to it. It looks really cool if you're at a big table. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like at a that 70s show. Yeah, remember that 70s show? Okay, so this is um, like an escargot. And it's got coconut. I found it out on the street. It was raining. <laughs> Don't know how to do it gracefully. My outfit. <laughs> So it's the end of the night. I'm gonna um, export this and start editing. But I just wanted to film an outro because I never film one, and um, I feel like some of the times it's kind of a oh I need to wash my hands. But sometimes I feel like my videos end kind of abruptly, so I'm gonna start trying to make it more mindful. Um, I just went to the studio and finished up. A cat dish so the original cat dish was made for Ollie because he is an indoor outdoor cat and I like to give him snacks every once in a while and um, ants would get into the snacks so I made this double rimmed cat dish so that water can you can put water in the outside perimeter so that it keeps ants from crawling into the cat dish so um, I mean summer's coming up so I got an order for that and I made it and I've ha been having such a hard time throwing like I threw eight things yesterday and only one came out everything else just came out like slush and I tried different clay bodies too and I don't know what happened so yeah, I think it just had a lot on my mind but I did get back this ear which I think it's the perfect ear so this guy Robin at my studio gave me a lump of clay and he was like you can do whatever you want with it and the first thing I thought was let me make like a rock so I made a rock shape first it's run it out the bottom and uh, you flip it over it's not signed anywhere there's no like marking on it or anything um, so that it looks like a rock but when you flip it over it's an ear and the ear is I think the best ear I've made I'm so stoked on it and I love this sounds kind of weird but I love pressing it up against my own ear and feeling it, it feels really cold and it hits all these pressure points and it just feels so good. But yeah, I sprayed a little bit of perfume on it so it smells like vacation sunscreen. It just smells so good. I think I might put this style on the website as a fragrance stone. And then this is the ashtray ear, which is quite a bit smaller. And it has a piercing in it so that you can put your incense 
and let it burn into the ear. So this is the ashtray. And then this is the big one, which I've used as a charcuterie board, as a slow feeder for my cats. I mean, jewelry holder, tchotchke thing. Yeah, so those are my ears, my ear obsession. And look, they kind of nest into each other pretty well too. Yeah, kind of creepy, creepy lighting. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I'll see you next week. Bye.